think the industry is changing faster than what we can keep up with. When it comes to steel, which is constantly changing, it may not change from year to year, it could change mid-model year. So you could have a 2010, 2011 vehicle and the manufacturing process change mid-year and have two different repair processes on the same vehicle. From when I started 15 years ago to now, you know, the, the way accidents and collisions and repair processes have changed is pretty dramatic. So when you look at the newer vehicles that are on, on the road now, I seriously think we have the safest automobiles on the road that we've ever had. And the technology that's gone into those automobiles is what helps to save people's lives. The biggest thing that I see in the industry today that is, is a problem is getting the correct education to the technician, making him understand what the new vehicle processes are, the new vehicle content. In my opinion, the biggest challenge is getting the information uh, from the manufacturers on how, how uh, they want us to repair their vehicles. The biggest challenges, I think, are training. I think the technicians are going to be constantly looking for and reaching out for information on how to deal with the technologies in the vehicle. The biggest challenge that we have in this industry, in my opinion, is the lack of communication and the lack of knowledge getting down to the grassroots of the actual repair process by doing it. Uh, the biggest reason it's important to do correct repairs on today's vehicles is safety. The new designs of the vehicles, the new contents of the vehicle and how, they're, how they are built uh, is making the repair more challenging. The elements of safety are so critical that when we as manufacturers build such good cars to protect the occupants, it's imperative that when a car has to be repaired, it's repaired correctly because not to do this could hinder the lives of the people who are in the vehicle. First of all, heat will take a, a five-star crash rate of car and turn it into a one or a two. It just destroys the, uh, the properties in the, in the material. We need to ask ourselves, do I have the correct tools and training to repair these vehicles correctly? Because if I don't, how many crash stars am I willing to give up in the next collision?